All right, all right. How's everybody doing? John and Nadia Melton coming to you live from Ellicott City, Maryland. And that's exciting. Very nice to be. Very that exciting. I, we were uh, just in Orlando true. for a few days. It was nice and hot, and then we come back here, and guess what? Nice and so hot. hot. It's almost the same exact temperature, believe it or not, in right. Florida and in true. Baltimore. So today, we want to talk about it's a little bit an exciting conversation. We're going to talk about not getting married. We're going to talk about, listen, why you should not get married. Now, I know we just celebrated our 12th year wedding anniversary. Yeah, we did. So we're not going to talk about relationships, which is why we called it hashtag biz chat. So we're going to talk about in business. A little, a little trickery. In business, there's some things that you should not get married to. So if you're an entrepreneur, if you're out there hustling, if you're out there looking to really, truly get to that next level, this is going to be, I am not even exaggerating, this is going to be an amazing, amazing message. Yes. So as we are just kind of like getting warmed up and whatnot with the lights, I'm so thankful. You guys, my sweater's on. The AC is down, he said. It was hot, although I am freezing. So you guys, let us know where you're coming in from. You know, we what got the lights doing? and we're going to be talking. We get all fired up. Can't be sweaty. You no, know, how many of us have had true. to speak Good on stage? Point. And it, you're like, oh, it's a little warm. And then when you get on stage, for some reason, it gets a lot warmer. And all right. of a sudden, you're sweating, you're uncomfortable. Nobody wants to talk when they're sweating. Let's avoid that. Yeah. I guess that's yeah. good, John. I want to see, I wanna see my he's breath. Th he's sitting, speaking in advance. Oh, all yes. right, cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, listen, this is obviously a business conversation. And we wanted to have a little fun with the topic about not getting married. And really what that boils down to, and we're going to kind of talk in some, some different different ways that this applies, but it, it's not getting married to a method, to an idea, to a yeah. concept. You know, not just being so romantic, if you will, to this, this one way and this is the way we have to do it because mm. this is the way we've always done it. Right. That's foolish. You I know, agree. like our first network marketing business... Did we, you get married we, to it? We, well, at the time we did, right? We were all in. We told everybody we're getting rich. You're right. basically an idiot if you don't get involved. You don't want to do this. Loser. Like, just, it was a very bad idea. So we burned bridges. At least I did. I can't speak for Nadia. Mm. But I know that if I had to do it all over again, and if I were to mentor myself 15 years ago, which, by the way, this month is my 15-year anniversary in the industry, I would have told myself... Congratulations, baby. You know, go all in with, with you know, your work ethic. Thank you, baby. With, with your determination, your dedication, your focus. But don't act like everyone else is a fool right. for not doing what you're doing. Exactly. Because if it doesn't work out, ooh, that's, that's brutal. I mean, hey, look, let them know what you're going to do with it. But don't make them feel bad for not doing it also. So don't get so married, so committed to something in a way that almost backfires. I agree. And think about the way we built it. Well, here's what I will say. The only person you should get married to is a significant author. This oh, is yeah. pretty much oh, yeah. it. Oh, yes. So anything other than that, I am here to tell you, you really are putting those golden handcuffs. Um, and this is what we did, right? You have this to be, is willing, you have to be willing to grow and evolve. You know, the minute that you go, I am all in, I am married to this one thing. Thing, seriously, you're putting yourself in a box. And when you put yourself in a box, then, then when the box, once you get inside of it and you look around the corners and you go, OMG, I am stressed. Like, this is I so am limiting. Stuck in a box. I am stuck in a, in a box and I got to climb out of the box. And then you have to climb out of this box and then you have to find a new box. And then you have to explain to the people around you why this box, you burned it, you know, and this just becomes a drama fest. See, what we've learned, your PR needs to be on the up and up. Truth. And seriously, when you get married to every opportunity, when you go public, that's getting married. Seriously, it's like dating. Baby, I love it when you talk about dating, right? Yes. Yeah, sometimes you have business to... Business and marriage. Baby, yeah, some, give me an example. So, sometimes of in business, you're going to have to date a few companies before you find the one that you're you're committed to, right? And that's okay. But if you're like going all in with this new company you just joined a week ago and telling everybody you're going to get rich, you're going to fire your boss, and, you know, this mm -hmm. is it. Oh, my gosh. OMG. 
this is this is going to be crazy. Shut the front door. And then two weeks later, you're promoting something else <laughs> publicly. And then two weeks after that, you're promoting something else publicly. You oh lose my credibility. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Yeah, you're losing credibility. That is painful. But, but, but the whole point is, back to what we were talking about with the original company, back then, the way we built our business, we would never do today. We used to do uh, resumes. We would you know, pay X amount of dollars to have access to resume databases and use these scripts, invite people out to these briefings that were, hold on, I still remember. This is Monday, true. I am beginning to Here's sweat. the schedule. Mo See, good thing we had the air conditioning. This is true. Take I, think, sweater, it's, I think it's your conversation. Sure, babe, take that off. <laughs> take it off. But hold on. Oh, we used to do uh, 2.30 on Monday. Right. 1 o'clock and 6.30 on Tuesday. True. 1 o'clock on Wednesday. 1 o'clock and 6.30 on Thursday. 11 o'clock on Friday. Those were our briefing times oh. to invite people out. So it's a good thing I didn't get married to that that Method. concept, that strategy, because I would hate to be doing it that way today, calling resumes and you know bringing people in, thinking they're coming in for a job interview. Like <laughs> that was what we were taught, but that right. was something that we did. I'm glad we did it. I'm just glad we don't do it anymore. And you guys, how many of you know people? Like, drop a one if you know people that get married to an idea, that yeah. get married to a way of doing things. They get married to whatever, whatever they got going on. Yeah, and they're like, back and in it's my like, day. They're married to 1997. Yeah, oh my in, gosh. Back in my day, this married. is how we did it. Right. And it's like, okay, great. Well, that's stop not it, today. Stop it, stop it, You're stop it. You're living in the past, man. You, you guys, you, you guys, guys remember, a how, tree. Hold on, how many have you ever seen Married with Children? What is that? Exactly. Married with Children. If you're an American, <laughs> you know what that is, right? Al Bundy. I like how you point that out. If you're an American, Al I am also an American now. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. That's true. That's true. Hashtag FOMO. She married right? me for my green card. It's the truth. No, you married me for my Russian citizenship. Oh, that's right. We're getting John a dual that's citizenship. That's right. I got, I'm getting tuned. a dual citizenship Just now. in case. You never know. It's good to keep your options open. See, you don't ever want to get married to one country if you don't have to. It's all I'm saying. That's, there you go. You just never know. You got to keep, you never your, know. Gotta keep your options open. Got to, you, you know. I might be going to Moscow. You never can tell. Baby, Amsterdam is our plan. That's not Russia. Baby, we can live anywhere. As a Russian, you can live anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's a whole other conversation. But see, you have to be open-minded. Yeah. Today is 2016, and yeah. we all know there were so many wants that anyway, the check got we, overwhelmed. We didn't talk about Al Bundy. So Al Bundy was always living in the past. He was always talking about his high school days. And it's like, bro... High school's over. It's right. been over for you for 20 this years. Is true. You're living in the past. Right. You know, it's it's kind of like some of these old school marketers that don't even have a Facebook account. They think oh social gosh. media they got is a waste to of old time. School. Yeah, See and that? look, it's not to say it's bad, but you have to embrace the fact that most people <laughs> don't want to build just offline. They would like to use social right. media. They would like to use the interwebs. They have some friends there. It's okay. I remember when I first signed up somebody using MySpace in 2006. Now, I'm sure everyone would agree it's a good thing I didn't get married to that. And I was, yeah, I was willing to embrace Facebook and Instagram and some of these other social media platforms. So we're not saying that you shouldn't be focused on something. Right. We're not saying you shouldn't be committed to your why, your goal. We're not saying you shouldn't be you know, in a network marketing company or have a business that you're 100% in belief. Right. You need to have that okay, belief. Good. But what we're saying is you have to be willing to embrace change. Yeah. You have to be willing to to you know grow with the times and go, okay, well, yes, I've been in network marketing for 20 years and I made all this money back then, but what worked back then may not work today. So you could right. still be in the same company, but don't necessarily be married to just that one way of building that yeah. company. Because what if you bring in a millennial? What if you bring in what if you bring in somebody that that's like me, like Nadia, we we want to build online, we want to use Facebook, right? We come into your team and you're like, nah, we don't do that. We don't do the Facebook. Yeah, we got married to 2005. Yeah. Like we have Basically. a certain way of doing things and that's just the way we've done it. That's the way we're always going to do it. So we want you to realize that sometimes, yes, things may be shiny. Like, you know, it's kind of like shiny ball syndrome though. You have to avoid that as well. Right. So it can be a little tricky, yeah. right? Gary Vaynerchuk talks about that. You can't just right. jump on every investment and every every bandwagon, new social media platform. Let me jump on this one. Let me jump on that one. Let me promote this. Let me promote that. You wouldn't have enough time in a day to, to really, you know, hone in each different platform. But at the same time, you have to realize that, you know what, sometimes, you know, like if we were still promoting, I don't know, CDs, 
and DVDs, knowing that, analogy. yeah, knowing that nowadays are most people are downloading. Called? Do you remember those big things? That's what we used to listen to in 1989. Records. <gasps> records. Oh my gosh. Imagine we came to your house and you're playing records. I mean, I guess it's like jumping into the time machine and all yeah, that. Yeah, well, Snapchat's a good, exa know. a good example, Shane. I was very stubborn with Snapchat in the beginning. I still and, am. And, and Nadia still is. And you know what? I'll be honest. I'm not a huge fan of Snapchat. I think it's cool. <laughs> But, you know, there's marketers out there that have absolutely killed it with right. Snapchat. Right. So I'm not going to be the guy to be like, oh, psh, that's stupid. Like, that doesn't work. Like, you're wasting your time. Because I know people that are killing it with Snapchat. That's someone's mm -hmm. thing, man. You know, do it. Make it happen. But at the end of the day, our whole point is you have to be willing to change. You have to be willing to embrace and evolve. Because naturally, as an entrepreneur, being in business in 2016 and beyond, that's just the way it is, man. Things are changing so quickly. The only thing you can count on is change. Like, so, but listen, babe. Think let's, about, let think let about live video. People. I know, live right? video. I mean, true. think about people that are stubborn to live video. But let me ask you a question. Okay, so we're not going to get married to the old school stuff, right? Because today's 2016. Yeah. So we get that. But also, where do we draw the line between, like, let's not get married to old school, but also let's not get so cut up in every new thing that pops, yep. right? And how many of you, you guys, can you drop a yes? Can you drop a yes? Because you know what I'm seeing now in the marketplace is a lot of people, like, have a hard time discerning between where to put their focus in. And so that's you have true to too. quickly, you have tricky. to click, yep. like quickly discern, right? And I think this is where your vision comes in, right? Yeah. Because you got to like know exactly the kind of life you want to oh, create. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And where you're going. Uh, and true. so because clarity equals power. But can you define mm. it? I want you to speak it in your way. So um so how do we discern between okay, let's not get married and then we also don't want to get Caught up in this grass is greener on the other side thing. Well, you could also say don't get married too soon. <gasps> oh, good. You know, too dabble. Who? Dabble a little bit. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Like in business, you know? I'm not talking about relationships, baby. Baby, I'm talking about how not to get so, like, spraying your energy you all dabble. over all kinds of stuff. You dabble. So if you're single, looking to mingle... You know, you might date a okay, you might, you might date a few girls. I used to and hate dating. You go on a couple of dates and you I could say figure out within five minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you gotta also kinda develop that muscle of okay, like within a couple of minutes you go, This is not gonna work. Yeah. Is that what you mean? That's what you mean by dabble, like go on a date and like Yeah, you know, dabble. Baby, did you date a lot? Test the waters. Maybe we should get clear with this what no, you're saying. No, I didn't do any dabbling. I was not a dabbler. <laughs> a dater. Oh my God. <clears throat> anyway, I'll change the subject. So the point is, okay, all right, you fine. could maybe dabble with a couple social media platforms. I like Don't it. expect to learn it all day one. Be like, all right, I'm going to download Snapchat. I'm going to learn everything day one. It's just not possible. Dabble with it. Play with it a little bit. And oh, if it, after a couple months, you're just not feeling it, you're not excited to use it, then you know what I mean? Don't use it. Give us an no example. No big deal. Well, I mean, look at my space, right? I'm glad I didn't get fully committed to, to MySpace and I was willing to look at Facebook. I was willing to try out Instagram and LinkedIn and some of these. And you know what? Here's an interesting thing. Yeah. I was pretty much done with LinkedIn. And now I like it more because they finally updated it over the last year where you can, you know how like with LinkedIn, it used to be like when you have to send a message to someone, you have to put a subject. I'm like, dude. I don't want to send a subject. Like a, like a, just a message. I just want to connect with someone. Like I don't, right. like can you imagine if every Facebook message you had, you had to have a subject? Dude. I mean, I kind of like the concept, but I see where it could be annoying. I mean, I can see where maybe right. somebody would want to create a subject because it is maybe more Larry so Dana loves LinkedIn. a more professional platform. Do you platform. not love it too? I, I wouldn't say I love it. I mean, look, here's my mentality. Okay, okay? fine. Let's I use it. Snapchat, LinkedIn, Instagram, Periscope. Twitter, uh, whatever, all those different social media platforms to bring more people to my Facebook profile. So I use all those so other platforms. So it's kind of like you guys. Let me give you a visual, right? So you what? Like I specifically talk about. You got to have one platform. We're now cycling back to social media as an example. So you have one platform, and you got to look at it like your lake, and then whatever other different platforms maybe that you want to dabble with. I don't like you. Those too. are different um, rivers that come into that lake. Yeah. So, but you don't want to do it in a way where now you are taking like five platforms 
and they're all new to you and you're doing them at the same time because that's a formula for disaster, yeah. right? Or I guess you could like go into it and kind of play with them and quickly decide. See, you have to learn to discern. Yeah. Oh my gosh, can you write that down? This is perfect. It's rhyming. I got to put that in the picture quote. Maybe just quickly jump. Learn to discern. You got to learn yeah, to discern. I don't know how to spell discern. Maybe discern. D-I-S-C-E-R-N. See, Ooh. who speaks English as a second Ooh, language. So smart. So you have to learn to discern, right? Because it's all going to just keep on moving faster and faster and faster. We are now living in the information age. Yeah. And so the faster but that I'm we not, can get I'm to not, the bottom I'm not line, married the to Facebook. I'm not married to Facebook. If something else came along... And it made more sense for my business, which is very possible that one day that will happen. I doubt it's anytime soon. I can't imagine what it would be, but it's possible. I mean, I would embrace it. I wouldn't go all in on it, though. Yeah. I wouldn't just say, oh, that looks better than Facebook. I'm done with Facebook. Let me close my profile. I'm never logging in again. Right. That would be silly. That wouldn't make any sense. Does this make sense to you guys? What are your thoughts? Can you just like totally drop into the comments? Where are you on this whole thing? Right? Like, does that make sense? You don't want to get married to a specific strategy. You don't want to get married to a business. You don't want to get married to well, I whatever. Think about, well, I think about our network marketing company, the company that, that we're a part of. When we came over last year, they had a certain way of doing things, and you know we were cool with it. That was just the way they did things. We were we were all in with it, like let's do it. We were we were you know coachable, <laughs> teachable, but they decided based on what they were seeing some of the teams do, based on what they saw in the industry, to evolve and create more of a a Facebook group strategy. I I talked about this on on a training we did I think last week, yeah. the ATM method. Right. Add, tag, and message. Guys, so you, gold so you right add now, people to a private Facebook group. You tag them in a couple relevant posts that you think they'll relate to. And then you set up a group message <gasps> with upline or downline. Introduce them to some other people. But Hashtag the genius. What? The point is, and we go, we dive deep on this conversation in our Social Network Marketing Academy right. course. Right. So you should check that out. Socialnetworkmarketingacademy.com. Anywho. Um, so the bottom line is, this is the ultimate way, in my opinion, to build a business using Facebook, six months ago, that strategy didn't really exist. We right. didn't have a name for it. Right. This you know, so I'm telling you, it is so crucial that you are willing to evolve, especially as an entrepreneur, Yeah. that you're not going to be that person that says, well, that's how we've always done it. So that's how we'll continue to do it. Right. That's a form for disaster. It's just, it's just not a good mindset. Yeah. Hang on, babe. That's a age. good... Hey Shane, he says, would you recommend directing your subscribers from one platform to your main platform or throughout all platforms? So you don't want to send people on a goose chase is what yeah. I like to say. So our strategy has always been we have one uh, platform that's our main platform. So for us, it's been Facebook. And we don't use Facebook to like promote Snapchat, promote Instagram, and promote no, 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 no. YouTube and promote right. LinkedIn. Right. I don't know. So I don't the do main that. platform. Some, some do that. But right. that might be because they, they want more on Snapchat. Right. Like we have a couple of buddies. That's their big thing is Snapchat. So they use Facebook to push people to Snapchat. I feel the opposite. Right, exactly. So you want to get clear. So remember we talked about it. Clarity equals power. And once you choose your main platform, the one that you love, the one that you are the most authentic on and that's where you hang out the most and that's where you can build relationship mm -hmm. expose involve upgrade and then all the other different platforms that you're going to position your brand on you can simply drive to that main platform right so that's how we've done it but we also recognize the fact that social media it's it evolves really 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 fast yeah. right that's just what happens and so therefore we don't want to just put all of our eggs in one basket which is why yeah. we have a blog or if you have a way to capture leads or send people to a website and, and build up an email list but yeah. a whole other conversation we, should, that we should maybe we should you guys let us know drop a one if you'd love to kind of explore that area a bit more but you know, well, don't overall... drop a one because if they do, we'll go back later. I won't remember what the ones are for. Oh, true. Okay, if fine. you'd like us to talk about building an email list and building a database, then let us know. This is it. Especially if you're so... on Facebook. Periscope, I feel bad for you guys because I can't go back later. I would love to... <laughs>
<laughs> okay, fine. So you guys, this is our message for us. If it was valuable, can you let us know? Do one of those. We'd love to see your comments. And also, if you want to dive deeper into really just overall branding strategies, online marketing strategies, if you're not yet a part of our mastermind, you OMG, should you should be. MyLifestyleAcademy.com and you can see the details uh, to be there for sure. Yeah. So this My is MyLifestyleAcademy.com all right, All right, guys. Thanks for hanging Have out. Have a good night. We appreciate you. Thanks Have for a hanging. super night. See ya. And don't get married, you know, unless it's your significant other. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah.